Hey folks, Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. A little 1300 watt install. Just straight up off grid solar system, backup power system for this guy. Got our snapping rack metal roof bases in. This roof is uh, a lot of metal roofs are like this. They got two by four strips and uh, had the two by four strips just on the right spacing. So we're gonna put up four of these panels, clipping my wires right now, and uh, just doing a quick little install. Backup power system like this with a 1300 watt solar array. This is typical size of a lot of Amish solar power systems. And uh, if you do your loads right, well, there's no reason why this wouldn't be enough power for you to go indefinitely. Maybe 2,000 watts. He's, this, this customer uh, is planning on adding another a, another string of four or another, two more strings of four. Well, there'll be four panels on that 162-inch snapping rack rail and a 24-volt battery bank, so the panels will actually be wired in two strings of two. So that puts my open circuit voltage with 272 cell modules up near between 70, 80 volts, depending on how cold it is, and an operating voltage of around 60 volts, which will be enough to charge 24 volt battery bank. It's a flooded lead acid battery bank, so it'll charge about 27 and something. It's equalize at about 30. And uh, that'll work real nice for the Midnight Classic 150 that this customer's going to have. So, I'm going to go ahead and get with it. I used uh, the, the, the size of the lag bolt for this uh, metal roof base. It's a 5 16 lag with a half inch head. Uh, made, this, made the holes with an 11 64th bit and uh, went right into the 2x4 strips. If they do 1x4s you can't really do that but with 2x4s you can that's enough to anchor in. And um, Got some PV wire scraps I'm going to be using up. Go ahead and run my wires and then I'll mount the panels. And uh, I always put a doll up a sealant just along that. It doesn't call for it. There's actually a gasket underneath the metal roof base, but I like to put a doll up in. There's a horse over here somewhere. Can't find him. But this customer is burning wood. They're going to switch their oil over to. Grunfus pumps that doesn't use much power. There's the well over there, and then they uh, have propane, so he'll be ready, be good to go. And that's what uh, Gain Solar is really all about: is getting people, getting people in energy uh, secure, being secure, and not have to worry about your power going out, and not being able to stay in your house. All right, this, on a smaller array like this, I'm going to use. Uh, uh, these are called branch connectors. And this lets me parallel two strings in the field. The 325s are going to make almost 9 amps max power. So that's uh, 18 amps under full load on a uh, number 10 wire, which can carry 30 amps. Derated a little bit for sun, which is still good. And uh, the series fuse rating of the solar panels is 25 amps. So we will be good. And I got my rails all up, tightened down, and uh, my wires are dressed. Next thing to do, dress the wires on the panels and mount the panels. So I got these panels installed. We're just I'm calling this an Amish install. And uh, next thing we're gonna do is penetrate the roof and mount a junction box, an MNPV6 combiner, and we're going to run conduit all the way across that board, do an LB, and then we're going to come straight across here with the conduit, and we're going to go into the sidewall of the house, and that's where we're going to come down with our solar.